we are looking at Learning Game B3 policy and this video is looking at disaster recovery policy. So the specification says we need to look at again who is responsible for what with a disaster recovery policy, the do's and don'ts for staff, defining the backup process, timeline for data recovery and a location alternative provision. So again, who is responsible for what? Some organizations will have a designated person responsible for disaster recovery. Others might use an external organization such as their data or network provider. In other words, if you are hosted through Google or Microsoft, they are likely to be responsible for your disaster recovery. All staff will have a clear list of responsible staff should anything go wrong. All of this information will be outlined in a disaster recovery policy, which describes the steps to take if disaster strikes. When disaster strikes, the organisation might need to collect information to build up an evidence case. There are different types of disaster which have different actions. A natural disaster requires new locations and equipment. However, a cyber attack often means rebuilding systems and restoring from backups. The staff will follow the disaster recovery policy and they will know the steps to take. Examples of these steps are things like shutting down machines and locking machines, where to relocate to if premises are damaged and which files not to access. The disaster recovery policy will usually determine the frequency of backups and what should actually be backed up. It would also determine the location of the backups, whether it's off-site or on-site. And the media for the backups would also be in the policy. Are we using magnetic tape or flash technology for the backup, or are we cloud-based? When recovering from backups, we need to follow a timeline for data recovery. There will be a project plan as part of the policy, which outlines the list of tasks to be completed with an attached timeline to follow. Critical systems will be restored first to allow some productivity to take place in the organization. Some larger organizations might have alternative premises to move to when recovering from a disaster. This could be an alternative office or temporary offsite equipment. This could also utilize cloud computing and allow people to work from home until back to normal. So this term location alternative provision means is there another place where we can continue to work that is in a different place to our normal working environment.